Welcome to an edition of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on the Serbian Farm. Alright, so we got our fields planted here. This one is in barley again. I meant to change it to something else, but I accidentally put it to barley. This is what it looks like when it's growing. Normally you don't see this, but that's what it looks like when it's growing. And uh, our canola field's ready to be harvested. This is in sunflowers. It's not ready yet, so we're going to go ahead and harvest our canola. Or canola. Oof. Canola field. So let's go ahead and hop into our class here. And we're going to fuel up before we go. And because we're doing canola, we use the regular head, which is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy over to... Uh, our fueling, I don't want to call it fueling station, but our gas tank is what it boils down to. We'll fill it up with diesel, and then we'll send him over. Because he's kind of far away over there, so just in case. Can't be too sure. And what I'll do is, in the meantime, I will... There we go. I will set up a course play for him. Uh, 31... That's what we need. Uh, we need 11.5. Because I believe the header is 12 meters. Memory serves. Oops, there we go. Start at the south east corner, heading north. Turn to first point, yes. Headland before. Generate course. And we'll save this as F44 46 combi. 11.5 meters. Perfect. Alright, so while he's filling up, uh, we're going to go ahead and hop in our Ford and bring the header over there. This is one of those situations where I wish I had it hooked up to the, uh, the F-150, but this will do. So our canola is ready to do, ready to be harvested. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest the... Uh, oh, there's no in-cap sound. Ha! <laughs> I totally forgot. It's an open cab. What a big difference anyways. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to head over there with our header, and then we'll set it up just so you can go pick it up. I don't think I've ever actually shown you guys what it looks like when these things are, when the crops are growing for some reason. I don't know why I've never shown you, but... Uh, that's what barley looks like when it's growing. It's all green, which makes sense, right? Hasn't had a chance to... Um, hasn't had a chance to dry out yet, obviously, because it's still growing. And eventually it will, of course. Just not at the moment. Seems like a combine's done, so we'll head this guy over there. Yeah. Definitely might, uh... <laughs> Wish I had a faster vehicle on here. But it makes sense. You wouldn't want to drive too fast with a combine head on there. Technically there would be straps probably over the header. Go ahead. Usually there's straps that go over the header. Don't hit the combine head. There you go. Alright, so this field's ready to go, and uh, he should be okay um, once I get him set up here. Just gonna pull over to the side. Uh, we did have enough fertilizer to do the whole field. Actually, to do all three fields in the end, which is good. I'm just gonna detach the head, should sit there. And let's hop back in our class. Um, there actually was enough. Uh, fertilizer to do all three big fields right now. So that was good. I didn't think we were actually going to have enough in the end. Uh, but we totally did, which is excellent. Um, we actually had just under 100,000 liters left. Uh, so if I had the front loader working the whole time, I probably could do maybe one more f big field. So if I join those two fields up there together, it's possible I could do both of those. But not sure. All right, so I think the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to just bring the uh, the Kenworth over there and let him, and just manually unload it. Uh, well, I guess I could just set up course play. It's not too far. All right, let's line this up properly because apparently I can't do that today. There we go. Uh, set it to field work. First waypoint. Let's pick up the head first. There we go. What we'll do is we'll drive the Ford away here. You shouldn't get caught on anything here. 
fucking duels. He totally is. I thought he was gonna be okay, but he's not. Alright, well, you can just sit there then. Oops. There we go. And let's the set this guy up. Set him to the first waypoint. And just start have him do his thing. Perfect. Let's see which way he goes, I don't know. I think this is a field... Oh, he's gonna go that way, is he? Uh, I think this is a field we're definitely gonna have to do... Um, I think we're definitely gonna have to only do crops where you use this header on it, because it's too hilly for the um, the other header there. And I started to get a different combine for that, but that's too much work. Alright, so let's hop over in the Kenworth, which is already ready to go. It's got the Agriliner on it. Uh, let's pull up, open the tarp, which was M, that's what I thought it was. Good, he's fueled up and ready to go as well. This is good. And, uh, actually, I forgot. Uh, is it? Yeah, Barley is on great demand right now. Totally forgot about that. Um, and we have 11 cows ready. Oh, wow, that's more than I thought we were going to have. Uh, actually, so what I'll do is I won't use this guy. I'll use uh, this guy so we can do a couple runs. Uh, I guess it would help if I turn the tractor on first. Uh, so I'll use this guy and just have him drop, have it drop off straight into the into the silos here, because if I don't, uh, I'm gonna basically just use my Kenworth and have him do nothing, which is not what I wanted to do. Well, he'll be sitting there a lot of the time. So what we'll do is I'll record a short little course here for this guy. All right, so set him up like so. Start recording. Excellent. Have him take a little U-turn here, and then what we'll do is I'll drive him. Um, I guess I could go straight through here. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to. That will definitely just make that the course play go nuts. So I'll take a nice little approach this way. This might be a bit uh, a bit better for course play. Let's get nice and close there. There we go. That should be good. Drive straight, and then do another U-turn. And the only problem we're gonna run into with this particular route is that it's gonna have deal with traffic the whole time, so which is annoying, but it'll have to do. All right, so we'll call this F forty-fourth. Uh, this is to forty-six. And set it to manual, and this is a class Lexion, and he might be close to, uh, yeah, he's definitely already there. That's more canola than I thought he was going to, that's 60%, it's not too bad, I guess. Now the problem I ran into with uh, fertilizing this field is that, uh, that wall of trees is collidable, so I can't do anything about that. So the problem is that sometimes... Because the trailer's so long, it would drag the. It would basically go to the point where it would hit the wall, which isn't good, of course. So. Um. Is he enough space? We'll see. We'll see if he has enough space. Alright. Uh. Let's go get some barley. Because I totally forgot barley was on great demand. And apparently our Kirovitz is in traffic. Oh, they're at the end here. I'll fill up this last one, then I'll probably just stop them. Again, that's how much that's how much um, chaff this produces. So, I think um, for the next Let's Play, I'll probably take the more realistic mod off, because that just that's just ridiculous. <laughs> that's what it boils down to. And it, had it not been that amount of chaff I get from grass, I might have switched over to corn, but Hasn't been a big deal. There we go. Alright, let's go grab some. Oh, that's still running. Let's go turn that off first. There we go. Let's leave them there for the time being. This time, we'll go get some barley. Sheesh. 
And I think we have some wheat left, so I need to be a bit careful here, because I believe uh, on this side... Yeah, barley's first. Okay, good. So let's take a nice wide turn here. And we'll fill up from this side. So this is, again, one of the reasons why I got this trailer to begin with, because maneuvering with a longer trailer, excuse me, around here just is not fun at all. Good, let's check on him. That's what I thought he was going to be doing. Oh well. Don't know why he decided to do that, but let's see if he can go on that side. After the initial passage, he'll be fine, but just this initial one. There is a little driveway, a little path on the side there. It should be okay for that. Oh yeah, as long as he... perfect. It should be okay, and I think the Combine should have more than enough room to maneuver at the back end over there, on the north end of the field. And again, the reasons why I love course play is because you'll start unloading and then the Combine will start again. So it gets actually... It harvests your field faster, assuming you don't screw it up when you set it up. See? With, if you would do a hard worker, he will just sit there and unload completely before he goes. I love that feature of course play. Excellent. So Kenworth is probably full. He is good. And I believe it said at the GB. Yeah. Which is... I guess I can drive through the bunker, it's not too bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, I know Barley's not accepted here. Alright, so what we'll do is I'll take you around and show you what the sunflowers look like when they're growing as well. So that's the Barley as I mentioned. And here are the sunflowers up here. So they are in there, not quite grown yet. Some of them have grown a bit more than others. I'm not too particular with the planting of the field, as long as I get most of it, as you can tell. If I wanted more of the field, then yes, I'd probably be a little more picky, but I'm not that picky, so. Strangely enough, I don't know why we have two barley or two great demands for barley back-to-back, -back, um, like I showed you initially. Let's get in the cab here. Like I showed you initially, but there are, so I'll show you again. And if I don't go past it, again... There we go. Sheesh. Yeah, so we got barley right now for 23 hours at 1.5, then barley again in one day, 21 hours. Which is fine. Alright, so let's head over here. 47,000 liters. Let's take a nice wide turn. Let's get in the cab here. Wait for the door to go. Perfect. And let's head off on the far side here. There we go. So we're at 851,000. I keep wanting to look behind, but I can't. Apparently I wasn't close enough. Uh, this is where the mirrors would come into play, but I guess, of course they don't. There we go. 851,000. Let's see how much we get. So it looks like we're going to get at least 50,000. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. 50,000. Uh, so we got, for that load, almost 70,000. Uh, so we got about four to 15 minutes to do a couple more loads before the price drops significantly. Well, before it drops a lot, basically. So let's see what we can do. I don't know how many liters of barley we have. Uh, 1. Uh, no, 150,000 liters of barley. So that's approximately three loads. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So we should be able to get at least two in if I don't drive like a grandpa. In real life, I do drive really slow, which is kind of funny. And the reason for that is I don't drive very often. Uh, I live in a city where the public transport is really good, uh, which means I really don't have to uh, have a car. Uh, and when we do need a car, we just rent one, basically, so that's how we get around the issue. And there's things like Zipcar as well, which I believe there, yeah, there's the same thing in the United States. No, not Zipcar. Uh, well, maybe it is Zipcar. I think that's the name of it. I know it's what it is in Canada, but our remote United States. 
basically just lets lets you rent a car for a, a short duration of time. So instead of renting it for a full day, you can only have it for a couple hours, and that's another way you can do it. But we don't do it personally, but it is another way, another possibility. All right. Let's get in here, unload this, or not unload, fill it up, and you're stuck. Go figure. And the reason why he's stuck is because he wanted to, uh, the way it works is he, he'll peel away from the combine. Uh, usually, is that running? I don't know why that's running, that's weird. <coughs> Looks like he had enough space to maneuver at the end. What we'll do is we'll request a driver, and then John Deere will come around. Get him out of the way there, and probably what will happen is he should have enough space uh, for the rest of this, maybe a bit more. We should have room for two full hoppers from the combine. Should, being the keywords, of course. Because I believe he holds... Well, maybe he doesn't. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Anyways, let's do another load here. We are running out of time. So this is where we get seats from. Um, I couldn't imagine... Uh, is that seats? Let's take a quick peek. I've never... I don't think... I think I bought seats in there once or twice. Is it seats? What does that say? Uh, maybe it looks like seats. Yeah, there's corn. Maybe it's not, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got the seats from when I started out. All right. Yes, I know Barty can't go there. Got 15 minutes left. Let's see if we can get at least one or two more loads in. This will be at $70,000 a pop. Uh, we might make 1.2 million uh, for three loads. So that's uh, 70, 71, 40. <coughs> Another 200,000. So we'll be just short, actually. But we have soybeans we could sell theoretically if we wanted to. And we have wheat we could sell as well. Although it's not in great demand, so. And we do have 2 million liters of sugar beets we could sell. Yeah, 2 million liters. I think that'll be the only time I ever do that big field, all of sugar beets. I don't know why I decided to do it. It took so much time off camera to do that field. It was ridiculous. Like, I don't know how many... It seemed like hours I was just sitting there laying the... Letting the combine, the harvester, just run just because it's so big. Such a big field. I think eventually, actually, I plowed a little bit of it under just because I didn't want to wait any longer. Because I already had 2 million liters, but oh well. That's the way it goes. Alright, so this time let's try and get really close to that drop off point so we don't do any backing up business. Alright, that should be close. Maybe it's not. There we go. All right, let's check on him. And that tractor's really in the way. I didn't see that one coming. Oh well, easy enough to move, I suppose. There we go. And it looks like the John Deere's gonna do his loop here. That's one of the odd things about course play. Sometimes it'll actually go a bit away further than it actually needs to, but it's fine, I guess. It does what it needs to do. All right, let's hop back in here. So we're at 987, oh, that's scraping the paint. Uh, 987,000. So we're gonna break 1 million in this episode, looks like, finally. Uh, we are trying to hit 5 million, but we do need to get a... We do need to get a windmill at some point, too. Which theoretically will help, just not in a very quick fashion. Which is always the case. It'll help because it'll increase our... Well, I should say it'll decrease the amount of money we're wasting, or... The expenses, basically. But it'll increase our hourly income, which is nice. Alright, got 12 minutes. We should be able to get the last two loads in there. Maybe maybe a third load after that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Alright. I was actually surprised with the fertilizing. Whoops, don't drive my crop again. Uh, I was actually surprised we had enough fertilizer to do an extra field there. Like I said, it's probably because we had the... Uh, Probably because we had the front loader working there, and I think that really made a big difference. Had it had all the silos not been full, then it might have been a problem. But oh well. All right, take a nice little turn here, like so. Perfect. Let's go check on this guy. Oh, he unloaded perfectly. Now he's back. Excellent. Yeah. See, that's what he does. I was afraid of that. <coughs> and again, I don't know why they do that, but they do. Alright. Turn this around. Set to the nearest point. It should be fine. Yeah, sometimes it's weird, because sometimes it'll do it, and sometimes it won't do it. So I'm not sure what that exact reason is, but it's doing it for some odd reason so and I'll just request to drive it here just to make sure he continues on his merry way I suppose I could just hire a worker and then it should be fine but then I would have it wouldn't be as efficient I suppose but I guess if it hits a wall it's probably not that efficient so if it does it again maybe I'll just hire a worker but for now I'll just leave it doing course play because it doesn't matter whether I hire a worker or whether I don't, I'll still have to pay for the gas and whatnot, so. Alright, so we got maybe one more load we could do uh, of barley. So let's see what we can do with this. So like I said, we're saving our sunflower sunflowers. We're saving our soybeans for a great demand. Hopefully we'll get one soon. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, you never know. Uh, there is a great demand coming up for beef, which is nice. Again, so maybe we'll finally sell some of our beef cattle, which we've had, you know, since day one, just about. I think in other maps, maps I've played, it actually doesn't take nearly as long for the beef cattle to uh, uh, to mature. Uh, in the comments, I forgot who mentioned it, but. Um, they were saying about 18 months is kind of like at one of the areas about the area uh, a beef cow will be ready to go to the uh, to be sold basically I think it was 18 to 24 if my memory serves me right which is about which is about right I don't think it's because we've done so many harvests already in this particular map I don't think uh, I don't think it's realistic the time but Uh, is it close enough? Yes. Excellent. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Cracked a million. Alright, let's check on this guy. He's doing alright. Excellent. Let's check on the cure of it. It looks like that is full, so we'll stop him here. And we'll stop this guy. Which is fine. Then we'll hop in our front loader here. And then we will compact the rest of this silo, and then we'll bunker it as well. So then when we need to fertilize our fields, we'll have more than enough fertilizer. We can only hope, at least. <coughs> Excuse me. We can only hope that we have enough fertilizer for all, all those fields there. Alright, 85. It's funny, I used the John Deere to do this a while back to see if it was any quicker, and it's a lot quicker. Uh, I know the cat um, front loader is really heavy as well. It does a really great job of compacting stuff as well. Uh, but it doesn't play nice as nicely with course play because what happens is um, you'll just dump extra, dump your silage out without actually going into the proper area, so you won't actually get money for it or anything, which is kind of annoying. But like I said, initially that's one of the reasons why I didn't get that one. So. Just back this up out of the way here. Maybe we'll stick it in the silo for the time being here. There we go. Turn him off. 
and let's see if we can get one more load in here before it is five o'clock or 1700 hours depending on who you're talking to on this map I have it set so it's at uh, 24 hour time as opposed to 12 hours uh, you'd be able to tell the difference obviously with the light and whatnot but it is one of the things you need to consider all right perfect so we got let's do one more load then we'll leave the rest of the barley in there should be okay uh, what's the price at now 308 so it hasn't dropped yet because it hasn't hit the top of the hour as soon as it hits the top of the hour it's definitely going to drop and then it will be ridiculous probably about what it normally pays I imagine although as Mr. Statman 80 mentioned uh, because we are using uh, the more realistic mod that does adjust the prices as well so it's something else to consider it is on hard Although it doesn't really, I guess it doesn't really seem like it because of the moralistic mod, so that's unfortunate. That's the way it goes. The yield you get from hard is less, apparently. But, um, the price I get to sell, whoa, the price I get to sell it is I set it at medium, like I said before, so. Alright. Should be close enough. Excellent. Checking our combine. See, he was able to turn around that time, no problem. It's just the odd time he'll run into the, the wall. It's really kind of strange, actually. I have no idea why it does that. If there was a way to figure it out, I probably would try, but... Seems to be working for now, so... It might just be that one pass that he does he goes into the wall. Or it might be because he can't raise the head just because of the, uh, the incline of the field. I'm not sure. I'm still debating on plowing these two fields together and just making one big long field. Again, I'm, I know I won't have enough fertilizer for all that down there too though. Because if we look, that would be like this. If I were to do that, I'd go down to 40. That's the train tracks right there. And it would create a problem, I imagine, for... Well, maybe not. But I know I wouldn't have enough fertilizer. That's one of the problems. So I could fertilize as much as possible. But not everything, so... Alright. This guy's probably full now. Last load. Don't know why I did that. Alright. I guess we hopped up on the curb a little bit there. Excellent. Well, not excellent that I won the curve, but... So we're fast, we're approaching our goals, which is good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we're approaching our goals, which is good, so... I'm starting to consider other maps uh, for the next season and other things. I, I pretty much selected our map already, uh, just because I was messing around. When I was looking for maps for... Um, uh, when I found before I found this map, I found another map that I liked, uh, but just not for the style I wanted to play in that particular one map. So for this next style, I'm considering. Um, so this map basically was like all out big map, organic, all that jazz. And the previous map on the big the old family farm, uh, that of course was uh, only sub 100 horsepower tractors. And then on the newbie farm before that. Uh, that was a really challenging map. Uh, growth times were changed, the prices were changed. I really liked playing that map. After playing on other maps, whoa, that's a gate. Other, on, after playing on other maps, I realized how good that map was just because um, in terms of like different growth rates, like um, for example, things took like a couple days to grow as opposed to like just overnight sort of thing. So I really appreciated uh, the fact that Cavalier Roy put that in there in that newbie fire map. It's really nice. And I have actually got a sneak peek of uh, version 5 uh, of the map, and it looks nice. Um, it is... Oh, we're that far, really? We just need another 80,000? Hmm. Uh, we're definitely, gonna get, definitely not going to get 80,000 from the rest leftover barley. We don't have enough canola yet either to do a load. 
Sugar beets definitely won't get us that. Maybe soybeans? Ah, we'll see. Oh, wait. <coughs> Excuse me. Still trying to shake this sickness a little bit. Thus the cops. And I apologize for that. So, what I'll do is, I believe... Let's check on our... Combine. We'll take this to back to the farm, and we'll check on the combine. See how he's doing. So, our John Deere... He's still only done one. He only dropped off one load so far, so I don't know. And he's not in traffic or anything, so that's good. There we go. Perfect. I was considering getting another combine for a bit there, and I was like, oh, that, could, that would be nice to have another combine. Um, just so the harvest goes faster, but then I realized how much a combine was, so I vetoed that pretty quickly. It's not too bad to get all the fields done all at once. Not all at once, but to get them all done, so. It's not that bad. Alright. Let's take this back to the farm, drop it in the yard, then go check on our class there. Actually, we can just drive it straight into the shop. No, I guess we can't. Never mind. So we'll leave it in the yard here for the time being. Turn it off. Let's go check on the class. So he's about halfway done the field. Maybe a bit more, a bit less than half. He's close. He's close. So I'm gonna request a driver here. This is a nice field, actually. I like the rolling hills on here. Uh, that does mean I will never be able to put corn or anything that requires the corn header on this field, but, or not with a class at least. Maybe with one of the other track. I don't know. Maybe with one of the other ones. Let's see what we got here. Haven't picked up any new mods lately. Uh, not ones. No, I really haven't picked up any new mods. There's a couple new mods out that I'm considering trying, but haven't yet. Uh, why am I looking here? We're looking harvesters. What do we got? Uh, class. Uh, that's just too expensive. Just for corn. We have this head, of course. This is only 300,000. Only, I say. Jeez. Uh, what else do we got here? Yeah, not many options, apparently. Not many good harvesters that I actually like. I've, I may have downloaded a couple and just looked at them, but... You know, I don't, haven't really found any that I really liked. Um, unfortunately, so... That's the way it goes. We could increase our... We're a transporter, but so far it's been okay with what we got. Eventually, where is it? We will need to get this. Um, this is what will carry our beef cows and pigs. We don't have any pigs, mind you. So, all right. So what I'll do is I'll get out of this combine here. Move out of the way. So the price has dropped for the barley. Yeah, two hundred thirty-three. So it's pretty much where it started at. So what we'll do is I'll stop the episode there for today, folks. Not sure how long it's been. Probably in the 30-minute range, somewhere in there. My name is Ian Raps. We're playing on the Serbian farm, commonly known as Voljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljvljv